Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. This is the OnePlus 8. I've been using this phone for about a couple of days and I have some thoughts about it. Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. This is the OnePlus 8. Finally got it. This is a review unit. So a huge shout out to OnePlus for sending this over for me to review. I know it's late, but it's better late than never, right? So this is R0 with the OnePlus 8. This is the interstellar glow variant and I absolutely love this color. So I'm just gonna go and unbox this phone and you know me, I'm not gonna unbox it in a normal way. So let's switch that camera to the top down angle. Alright, that was the unboxing experience and frankly I feel that OnePlus could have saved a lot of paper in there. There was a lot of paper which I think is a waste and maybe next time they can save some paper inside the packaging. Anyway, apart from that the overall unboxing experience was very premium. So a couple of weeks ago I unboxed the Moto One Fusion Plus and that unboxing experience was okayish. It was good for the price but this unboxing experience was completely different, very premium. So you will be paying that premium price and you will get that premium experience. Talking about premium things, the phone itself feels very premium in the hand. So OnePlus has reached a stage where they can make a very good phone, especially in terms of design and build quality. The design is very ergonomic, rounded corners, tapered edges. The phone is slim, lightweight, the weight distribution is good and overall it is a very well built phone. It feels like a solid phone and it is a solid phone. Also, I really like this interstellar glow color. It has this gradient look which changes when you hold the phone at different angles. It is a nightmare to shoot this photo because the camera just won't focus because of the reflections, but it looks absolutely beautiful and it is worth the extra effort for you know shooting with manual focus. Now this time around the display is curved, so it's not a big curve, it's a normal curve and some people might like it, some people might not like it. I thought that I would not like it, but I actually like this curve. It is not a big curve, it's just a minor small curve and it does give that full immersive experience and I do like it. Talking about that display, it is a beautiful AMOLED display, 6.55 inches, Full HD+, 90Hz, Super AMOLED. The display is beautiful and I think this is the right balance. So OnePlus 8 Pro has a Quad HD 120Hz display and that is pushing the display to its limits. So I think this combination, Full HD Plus and 90Hz is the right combination. I did try to recreate the OnePlus 8 Pro's display issue on the OnePlus 8 but that did not happen. So OnePlus 8 has no display issues, no green tint, no hole punch banding, nothing of the sort and the display panel quality is actually pretty good. All right, now moving on, let's talk about what lies under the hood. OnePlus 8 comes with top of the line specifications, Snapdragon 865, up to 12 GB of LPDDR4X RAM, up to 256 GB of UFS 3.0 storage, a 4300 mAh battery, 30 watt fast charging. And yes, the charger is provided inside the box itself. So on paper, this phone has all the latest specifications and on the software side of things, it comes with Oxygen OS. 
Oxygen OS is literally the best skin on Android and it flies through Snapdragon 865. The performance is very smooth, no bloatware whatsoever and the overall experience is just amazing. I also installed PUBG on this phone and played a couple of quick TDM matches and the experience was really good. You get the highest settings available and the overall gameplay was also very smooth. Now I will be making a dedicated PUBG review of the OnePlus 8 on the Hindi channel. So if you haven't subscribed to the Hindi channel yet, then please do that. I will make sure to drop a link to that in the description box below. Now moving on, let's talk about an aspect which is a little bit controversial with the OnePlus 8 and that is them cameras. So on the rear side, there is a triple camera setup. 48 megapixel primary camera, 16 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera. Now the third 2 megapixel macro camera is kind of weird because on the OnePlus 70 there was a 48 megapixel main, a 16 megapixel ultra wide and then a 2x telephoto camera. But on the OnePlus 8 they dropped the telephoto camera for a dedicated 2 megapixel macro camera. That 2 megapixel macro camera is not what we asked for. So it's definitely a downgrade at least in terms of hardware. But I'm happy to report that it is not a downgrade in terms of software. I thought that OnePlus 8's camera will not be up to the mark like previous generations, but that is not the case. OnePlus 8's camera is actually pretty good. The main 48 megapixel sensor clicks some really good photos. Dynamic range is excellent. Photos have a good amount of detail in them. The exposure is right. The white balance is right, but the colors are a bit off. So this has been the problem with OnePlus always that their colors have been a little different from others and a little unnatural I would say. So these are not natural colors and that problem still persists but it is not as big a problem as it was in the previous generation. So it definitely has improved and maybe they will improve it even further with a software update or something like that. But yeah, it has been improved from the previous generations. You can also click some really good photos with the ultra wide angle camera. It is a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and it does retain a lot of detail. The third 2 megapixel macro camera is not good. A 43,000 rupee phone with a 2 megapixel macro camera is just straight up weird. Now on the front side of things, there's a 16 megapixel selfie camera and frankly the selfie camera did not impress me. As far as first impressions go, I'm gonna say the selfie camera is just okay. Nothing good over here, nothing great over here, just a normal selfie camera. Now what about the other things? This phone comes with an in-display fingerprint sensor. It is fast, it is accurate and I really like the fingerprint sensor. It also has face unlock and that is super fast, insanely fast. So you can use the fast fingerprint sensor or even faster face unlock and that is excellent. OnePlus 8 also comes with a pair of stereo speakers. The speakers are actually very good. They get pretty loud. They don't have any distortion and overall it's a great experience. The speakers are actually very good. Talking about things which are good, the haptic engine on this phone is excellent. I am happy to report that OnePlus 8 has a very good flagship level like haptic experience. And this is the thing that a lot of manufacturers cheap out on. Especially in the budget segment, we see that there are very bad haptic motors, but that's not the case with the OnePlus 8. The haptic engine is actually pretty good. Overall, as far as first impressions go, I'm gonna say OnePlus 8 has impressed me and it is a solid phone. Now with that being said, I will be testing out all aspects of this phone further and I will be making a dedicated camera review of the OnePlus 8 and also Google camera. So make sure you are subscribed for the upcoming videos because you don't want to miss them. Anyway, that's been it. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.